My pranams to all Atma Jyotis, Divine Light of the Self. I welcome all of you to today's session of Yoga Vasishta. I am conducting these sessions so that I can learn. I am just a student. I am not a Pandita. I am not a Jnani. I am not a Guru. I am reading a book published by Ramakrishna Mat. It is in Telugu. I am making some notes and I am making those notes available to you. And I am speaking in English what is written there and I am also referring to few other books. The purpose of this exercise is so that I can learn. This is a satsanga I am doing. There is no commercial aspect in this. In last session, we have looked at uh, effort. First day's Vicharana has completed. Second day started. So in second day, we are talking, Vasishta, Sage Vasishta is talking about effort and fulfillment of desire. Fulfillment of the effort, not desire, fulfillment of the effort. So, Vashishta is saying, O oh Ramachandra and other people who have assembled, you must have understood, contemplated and understood what I have told yesterday, that whatever we have done the karmas in our past lives or past only fructifies and gives the results. Not We are not in the clutches of fate or destiny. There is nothing called fate or destiny. Therefore, get rid of this thought that fate or destiny determines our life. We make our own destiny. Our own efforts in the past will fructify and give the results. Second day, I am starting with the resolution, with the intention, Sankalpa, that through Satsanga, through the company of sages, through the study of good scriptures and self-enquiry, a human being should undertake this and try to his, his or her own effort to attain self-realization or upliftment of the self, of oneself. Therefore, in the spiritual upliftment, one's effort, spiritual practices are very, very important. So, the fate or destiny also follows your own efforts.
in the world people will say alas what a difficulty i am facing and when they face anything pleasant situation they will say oh what a uh, wonderful fate that i am getting uh, this pleasant thing so all these are nothing but results from the efforts they have put in in the previous lifetime or previous past in the same life this is what is my opinion therefore fate and destiny luck all these point to your own efforts results of your own efforts the prarthana karma the previous efforts are what determine your fate and destiny other than that there is nothing called fate and destiny just like a strong person can control a small kid similarly a person who puts enough effort adhyatana karma can control his fate destiny and luck some people put enough effort they do right karma as per the scriptures and they convert their misfortune to fortune similarly whatever is the misfortune that one is experiencing with their own efforts they can convert into auspicious things otherwise on the other hand people of small minds they are satisfied with small small things and they say it is only fate which is determining my life such people are miserable people any time if your current effort is being defeated or undergoing difficulties or obstructions as i have told yesterday one should recognize that the prarthana karma is stronger and we should take recourse to right scriptures shastra vidhi karma and we should take the advice of wise people sages and find out what efforts you have to put be critical about one's efforts and put the right effort again and again one should put right effort if you eat two fruits one fruit is sweet and another fruit is bitter you should realize that it is your own karma that is coming as sweet and bitter one should not blame daiva god or adrushta for that especially one should not blame the god god is witness of all god is akarta non doer abhokta 
नाम एंजॉय है सच्चे परमात्मा गॉड हाउ हिल सच्च परमात्मा कम्स अंडर द डिफेक्ट ऑफ कर्मा when you attain something and after some time they started diminishing and they started going away from you you should realize that it is also due to the karma phala becoming depleted whatever is manifest is due to the efforts that you have put earlier in every individual it is always a conflict between praptana and adhyatana karma purushakar efforts in one of the kingdoms the king died then all the ministers thought we need a king so they decorated an elephant and gave a garland to an elephant and they left that elephant in the street many people came onto the street and they were looking at that elephant that elephant put that garland in the neck of a beggar and that beggar ruled that kingdom for many days even in this story we should not say that it is done by god god is all being done by god this is not true in this story the ministers have acted people have acted elephant has acted and all this effort has culminated in that event to occur and the beggar became a king but as we cannot know the pratana karma of the beggar we don't know what the beggar has done in his previous lives what karma he has done therefore we say that it is something done by god because we cannot see the pratana karma of the beggar otherwise in this event we should not drag the god into this if a person achieves something his effort may be evident or if it is not visible to the eyes it can be invisible effort we cannot evaluate what effort a person has put therefore we say god has given him such a good thing therefore we say god has granted him that but if for a wise man this opinion is a faulty opinion in this world if there is an efficient person we also see a more efficient person than him 
why is this difference coming differences coming the second person who is more efficient has put in more effort that's why that second person is more efficient therefore efficiency is not a function of luck efficiency based on self effort therefore in the current if you put enough effort you can overcome the bad effects of the bad karma you have done in the past we have to be careful about something here we always it is say clash between praktana karma and adhyatana karma if you put right effort as per scriptures in the current life and the praktana karma the previous karma fructifies and gives a contrary result there will be a clash but the person should choose should not fall in the trap of the what is coming from the samskaras or the latent impressions one should always be always have a right goal a spiritual goal a high noble ideal such a person will become victorious in any case the prarthana and adhyatana purushakara the efforts of the past and efforts current we should consider the current effort to be stronger because the current effort is in our hands with the right effort i can win over prarthana karma is what is the right attitude one should have faith on that one should have faith on oneself on one's guru and faith in the scriptures otherwise if you say alas what can i do i am a tiny human being this is like this only only great people can overcome this fate ordinary people like me cannot win over fate such weak mindedness and that leads to non effort we reject such people o rama look at a farmer a farmer puts in an effort whole year and he grows the food grains sometimes a storm comes and just when he is about to harvest the ha storm comes typhoon comes and the entire harvest is destroyed for few moments the farmer is stunned and dejected but is he depressed and keeps quiet no he will again look for where will i get seeds where is my uh, equipment to till the land therefore the farmer will put effort again and he will get a harvest in the next harvesting season
with his right effort, the farmer is again getting enough harvest. Every jiva has to learn from the farmer. Those who put right effort will definitely be victorious. Similarly, there is a businessman. He, with difficulty, he earns a lot of money. And in the business, sometimes losses come. What he will do? He will put effort again to gain, uh, to again gain some money. Therefore, it is always right to put right effort. Otherwise, if a person is depressed and wastes time and does not put right effort, that is not a right thing. If the things are not convenient for you, if the place is not convenient for you, if the situation is not convenient for you, there is no point in crying. If crying solves the problem, one should cry every minute thinking about death. One should sit in a corner and cry about death every moment. Are we doing that? No. Therefore, what is not in our hands, we should not worry. We should always find what we can do, what is in our hands. And what is in our hands should be as per scriptures. We should find out what I can do as per scriptures and with faith and with the right understanding one should do their effort. With this, in the Mumukshu Vyavahara Prakarana, chapter 5 has ended. We will talk about chapter 6. Chapter 6 is about inspiration and Purushartha. In this world, all the objects are shining or illuminating or happening based on Desha Kala Kriya Dravya. What is that? Desha means appropriate place. Kala means appropriate time. Kriya means appropriate action. Dravya means appropriate objects. Based on this, everything is following. In all these, whichever is putting more effort that wins. Therefore, a human being should put, should take refuge under self-effort rather than putting the burden on a God and saying that God will take care and not putting enough effort. It is not correct. One should be in a company of sages. One should read scriptures properly under a guru and attain purity of mind. With the purity of mind, one should cross this transmigratory samsara ocean of samsara. In this 
ಪ್ರಾಕ್ತನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆದ್ಯತನ ಪುರುಷಕಾರ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ದ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಈಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಲ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗರ್ ಟ್ರೀ ವಿಲ್ ಕವರ್ ದ ವೀಕರ್ ಟ್ರೀ a human being through his efforts should crush the praktana karma those who don't do that they will be under the control of praktana karma and they will lose their freedom those who cannot put the right effort double their effort put lot of effort those who cannot do that those who depend on the praktana karma they are leading the life of an animal and they are under guidance of ishvara they keep on rotating between swarga and naraka and bhumi between earth heaven and hell they will keep on rotating coming and going they are not independent and free people they are dependent and bound people where is the question of liberation for such people those who are following the scriptures and following all the right things and putting right effort those people can break free from the bondage of jagan maya the illusion of the world and such a person through his self effort which will help him to be liberated from the bondage if a person thinks that somebody somewhere is controlling me my fate controlling my destiny they are inspiring me they are leading me i am not free if people think like that without understanding the importance of self effort such a person who do not have a goal spiritual goal and without effort we should be we should be at a distance from them every day so many things come to us and go away from us so many things we do so many decisions we have to take in all those things we should always follow what is right as per shastra those who follow the shastra vidhi as per scriptures they live their life all the treasures of the world will be accumulated to that person the efforts which will give good results and which will remove the sorrow suffering in the world they are spiritual efforts spiritual uplift the efforts which will help you to uplift yourself spiritually such efforts are called by the wise people as paurusha paurusha means effort 
by a person, by a Purusha. Such efforts which are as per scriptures are called Purushartha. They are, they are causing the Purushartha. Such efforts give the Purushartha, the results. This is the secret of Karma Siddhanta. Those who understand the Karma Siddhanta, they will not waste time. They will not sit idle. They will not simply sit and waste time. They will not say, Oh, will I be enlightened? Will I get spiritual upliftment? No. They don't care about results. They know that the result is dependent on the effort. Therefore, they do Guru Seva. They are always engaged in the service of the Guru. They are always engaged in the in Swadhyaya, learning scriptures under a competent Guru, self-study of the scriptures, Satsanga, Sadhu Sangha, in the holy company of the saints, Shravana, listening to the spiritual discourses, Paropakara, helping others. These are the efforts we are talking about. These are the right efforts. And they are purifying their chitta. With these efforts, spiritual practices, they uplift their, themselves. And what is the purushartha they will get? What is the result they will get? The Atma Swarupa. They will get the Atmanubhava. Self-realization. Self. Self-realization. Self they will get. And they will attain supreme peace. Therefore, o Rama, make a sankalpa, right intention that whatever efforts I put, whatever efforts I do, all the efforts in the world and all the religious efforts, whatever I do, all the efforts I will do all those efforts so that my mind becomes pure and holy. This is the goal. With this goal, one should put all their efforts. With this, we will stop here today and we will continue on next class in the next class Harihi Om Tatsat Sri Krishna Arpanasat